Hey, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Racha Kodash. Double honors to the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone, and peace and blessings to the elect. And uh, real quick, you know, I just wanted to, um, you know, just make mention, okay, because we know as of um, there's the article, the news that came out about the whole uh, Biden transferring uh, power to Kamala Harris, the vice president, uh, as he un undergoes this, was it a col colonoscopy or so, right? The so-called regular procedure that he undergoes, right? And um, we understand, <clears throat> yeah, that, you know, it, it could be that nothing happens, but it could also be that something happens. And the scriptures tell us, not to be ignorant of any uh, sma uh, matter, small or great. Now, we understand that with the times that we're living in, you know, you have people that will say, oh, you guys are always, you know, uh, hyping everything up and then nothing happens and this, then and the third. But you would rather uh, be on your watch, okay, and then watch. And if, and if nothing happens, then cool, you keep watching. Then for you to say... Be, being like the, the the victims who were in the the story about the boy who cried wolf, where you say, oh well, you always say this and nothing happens. So this time I'm not even gonna care. I'm not even gonna give a damn. And at one time something happens and you miss it because you're not watching. Okay. Now I got a quick pre because we're we're living in these times when the these evils and these things, these sudden breaking forth of incidents and you know. Anything could pretty much happen, you know, when they set up these uh, false events, they come out of nowhere, you know, like they come out of nowhere and it may seem like a small thing and then out of nowhere, boom, it just manifests and, and, and becomes bigger and bigger and bigger. OK, because when they, when they do those sudden things, people don't really see it now. I mean, it, it, it is a little interesting for for him to transfer power, you know, to and she's and she's going to be the uh what the, the first woman or so in history to to have the presidential powers and stuff through this this means you know and when you think about it it's it's as though they wanted to have that happen because we've been saying it for a while that hold on since this whole biden administration you haven't really heard much from kamala harris right it's just been biden this biden that he's taking the heat for this taking the heat for that and she's just like in the background somewhere, just disappearing, you know, just you you barely, you know, really hear from her. Right. But we still have to watch and see, you know, now, like I said, he could, you know, he could go into the thing. Right. Get it done. And everything will be all sweet and quote unquote sweet and dandy. He comes back and then he comes back to continue his thing, you know, or he could go and they could say, oh, we found something or. You know, this is worse than we thought or, or this, that, and the third. So, you know, we have to monitor him closely. So in the meantime, while he's not right, you know, Kamala's going to be running things for a while. You know, or they might just, pass, you know, drop his ass out. Whatever. Anything can happen. But the point is, we are living in the days where these things are possible. You know, so as, as it says in the book of First Thessalonians, which I'm going to get after this, we are the children of the day. Let us not sleep as do others. So we're, we're constantly watching for every little thing that goes on because we know big things come from little things. Now, this is the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 11. And it says, lest Satan should get an advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices. So we know how this devil works. We're not ignorant of the way that these these uh, uh, these people move, the little things they pull here and there, and why is it that we're not ignorant of this, of his devices? Because through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai, we're watching for everything, whether it's small, whether it's great, whether it's 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 a uh, 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 it looks irrelevant, whether it's a future thing. We're, we're watching, okay, and when we watch, we always. Being that the Lord has given us the vision, we always look at what can come from this. What what can this result in? So we're always looking steps ahead, not just at the here and the now, but we're looking at the 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 the, the steps ahead. How does it tie in with prophecy? As it says in Second Ezra, the ninth chapter, 
um, to measure the times diligently in itself. Okay, measuring the times diligently in itself. So in order to measure the times diligently, you you have to be a diligent watcher. All right. Um, so this is uh, 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, and I'm going to start at verse 1. And it says, but of the times and the seasons, brethren, ye, ha ye have no need that I write unto you. Exactly. Because we're all aware that we're only one major event or one disaster or one whatever away from, um, you know, from, from shit really going down all the way. Because we're that close. So we don't, so we already know, you know, when these things happen, you know, you know, brothers, you know, sending the articles and, you know, different breaking news and different things here and there. You know, I missed, I missed all this that's going on. You haven't, I believe they said in Germany, uh, inflation went up 18, 18.4%. 18 okay. Which is the highest since 1951 or so. So things are happening. All right. Things are happening and it takes just one, that one major thing to, to just blow it all over. But we have to watch. Okay, we have to watch and pray as as Yahweh Shai told us. Verse 2, for, for yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night. So it's going to come suddenly. For when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them as travail upon a woman with child and they shall not escape. So when they least expect it, that's when the worst is going to come. The thing that you think is, is just nothing is really what brings everything. Because that's how the Lord works. There's a saying the, the Lord works in mysterious ways. It's mysterious because you don't you don't know uh, except for, you know, except if you're uh uh if it's been revealed onto you pursuant to Amos 3 and 7, but you don't know what angle it's going to come from. It's mysterious. You don't you don't you don't understand the fullness of it yet until it manifests. But the Lord is constantly working. OK, so it's, it's very interesting, you know, let's just put it at that. It's very interesting. And like I said, you know, we could see what comes of it, if something comes of it, if nothing comes of it or if something comes of it that looks like nothing, but it's really something behind the scenes. We got to see. Verse four, but ye brethren are not in darkness that that day should overtake you as a thief, because when a thief comes, they come at night. But we're not we're not in darkness so we can see. So it's not going to sneak up on us because we're, we're watching for it, right? If you're not aware, a thief can sneak up on you. But if you're watching for a thief, where are you going to be looking? You're going to be looking at the walls. You're going to be looking at the windows. You know, I'm talking about in the in the past, in the ancient world kind of setting. You know, you're going to be looking at, well, today you're going to be looking at the cameras. You're going to be looking at places that a thief would come through, right? So when we watch these new, the news and we watch the, you know, when we're watching for these prophecies as as though we're watching for a thief, what are we going to, are we going to be looking at TMZ worrying about Kim Kardashians and, you know, uh, all of these celebrities? Now, you you know, you may, certain information may come from there, you know, and you may bring it out. But for the most part, what are we watching? We're watching RT news, we're watching, you know, the geopolitical news, we're watching the economic news, you know, we're watching how things are going on around the world. Okay, we're watching the president. We're watch all of these things we're watching because those are the the angles, so to speak, that a thief would potentially come from. Right. So we're watching the central bank digital currencies because these are the angles in which these prophecies are going to come from. All right. Verse six. Therefore, let us not sleep as do others. Oh, Salaki, verse five. Ye are all children of light. Ye are all the children of light and the children of the day. We are not in uh, of the night nor of darkness. Why? Because Yahweh Shai is the light, and we are in the body of Yahweh Shai. Okay. Verse six. Therefore, let us not sleep as do others, but let us watch and be sober. That's the key part right there. So anything you know that we see going on, we watch and we announce it. And if nothing comes of it. You know, nothing, you know, like so no, no, no immediate thing comes of it or it's better you have you would have you have known It's better for you to have known than for you to not have known, because our job is still to sound the alarm. 
Okay? So let's watch and see what comes of this, how it turns out, whether it's something or it's nothing. We still understand that we are in the times where these things are, are, are getting ready to take place. Okay? So stay on your watch and be alert. Be circumspect. Be not ignorant of any matter, small or great. So with that, I hope you were edified. In closing, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Recha Kodesh. Until next time, Shalom.